Hello wonderful developers, welcome back to our channel. My name is Harish Kumar. In the last video, we have talked about React props and we have seen these errors. These errors are because of missing props validation. So, in this video, we will learn about validating props in React. Before moving ahead, I want to mention that these errors are provided by the ESLint. If in your project ESLint is not configured, then your editor may not show these errors. In case if you do not know about ESLint, I have already created a dedicated tutorial on this. You must watch that video also. You can find the link of it in the video description. I also wanted to take a quick moment to thank all of you who have shown incredible support for my ebook JavaScript a comprehensive guide from ES 2015 to ES 2023. Your response has been truly amazing. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, this ebook is your one stop shop to learn everything JavaScript from ES 2015 to the latest ES 2023 features. It's packed with explanations, examples, and best practices to help you master the language. This ebook is designed for all levels. So whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, you will find value in it. So why wait? Grab your copy today from the link in the video description. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more JavaScript content. Now let's dive in. Now the first question is, why we need react props validation validating props is important because it helps catch mistakes early and prevent bugs without validation it is easy to accidentally pass props of the wrong type or format to components for example for this user card component here we accidentally passed a string while this score accepts a number or maybe this component need a user object but we accidentally passed an array when invalid props are passed it can cause components to render incorrectly or even crash so by validating prop these issues can be caught early before they cause real problems props validation helps make sure Components only receive data in the correct shape that they accept. And also, props validation acts like a documentation showing what props a component need. It also makes refactoring and reusing components easier in future. So in short, validating React props catches bugs, prevents issues, and makes maintenance easier now let's see it in action to validate props in react we can use the library prop types this prop types library comes by default with a new react project if it is not installed then you can use this command to install it now let's see how we can use this first we need to import these prop types in the react component so let's copy this import prop types from prop types library and now in the editor user cards component paste that here so here import prop types from prop types library next to validate props in react component we can define a prop types object and specify the expected type for each prop for example here first the component name in our case that is this user card so here user card dot prop types make sure to use it in camel case is equal to a object like this now in this object we will specify the expected type for each prop in our case this user card need a name score and children so first name this name is a string so we can say this prop types 
dot string immediately you can notice that the error for this props dot name is vanished similarly we can specify prop definition for score also so score prop types dot number and error validation gone for this also we will see these props dot children in a moment first let's see this in the browser if these two props are working fine so in the browser here refresh it looks it is working but if we open the inspect tool and in the console here we are getting error invalid prop score of type string supplied to user card expected number so basically issue is that in the app component right here we have passed score 79 right now this 79 is treated as string but in the user card we have specified that this score should be type number so how we can fix this so to pass number we can pass it like this score is equal to in curly braces pass number now this value is going to be treated as a number similarly for this score also pass in curly braces and uh, and for this score also now go back to browser refresh the error is gone in most cases these score value is going to be stored in variable so for example let's say const score is equal to let's pass any random value and then we can pass this score right here instead of this number like this so in the browser refresh and here we get the score value let's see one more thing now let's suppose we forget to pass a name attribute right here let's take a look at the browser refresh here you can see it has rendered the score user description but name is not rendered and in the console we are not seeing any error but username is required for this component so to avoid such mistake in the user card component we can specify that this name is required so here we can say prop types dot string dot is required like this by specifying is required in the console it immediately warned that we forget to pass prop name now in the app component undo this the name is equal to harish and refresh the error gone now if i remove this score we will not see any error because this score is not required so specify dot is required now in the browser we will see error prop score is marked required now undo this for example let's say this score has a default value 0 to define default value here we will say this user card dot default props is equal to an object next we will specify the name of props in our case that is score and its default value is zero now in the app component right here for this user card let's remove this score attribute and next in the browser now for this score it has rendered zero the default value for this john this score value is 79 similarly for jan score is 34 let's undo this user card component let's fix this children prop also so children let's define right here children prop now this children going to contain the content pass between the closing and opening tag of the component in our case this paragraph tag and for this user card this div so what type should we here specify we can say prop type dot any this is the one solution now the error is gone and if we go to the browser refresh everything is working fine 
I recommend you to try to avoid using props type dot any. Try to be more specific. In our case, this children is going to be props type dot not. This not means that it can accept anything that can be rendered. Now in the browser, refresh, everything is working fine. As our component may get complex, we might pass around complex things like a user object. So prop types help us say the user object should have a name, score or an email. So here we can specify let's say user prop to specify user prop structure we can use prop types dot shape and then in parentheses we're going to pass a object now in this object we will specify the properties of user object we need name it is going to be prop types dot string is required similarly we need this score and let's say we also need email prop types dot string next uh, right here let's console log props dot user now in the app component right here let's create a user object const user is equal to an object so now let's keep it empty and now next in this user card right here we will pass attribute user is equal to in curly braces user browser refresh here we get error prop user dot name is marked as required so here in this user card component here we have specified user object need name and it is required so let's fix this so here name reach and score any random value go back to browser refresh error is gone and here we get the name Harish and score next in the user card component now instead of this props dot name we can say props dot user dot name or props dot name so if we have this username from the props user object then render this otherwise render props dot name now go to browser here we get error undefined name the error is right here because we have not passed this user object in the all user card component so instead of using props dot user here we should use props dot user question mark and then dot name like this now go back to browser refresh the error is gone now if we have props dot user then print name otherwise print props name now let's see how we can validate props in class component so in the user card class component right here we can validate props in class component exactly same as we have implemented for function component so we can copy all of these and paste it in this user card class component right here next we need to replace this user card with the user card class comp so paste it here and paste it here now the errors are gone now go back to browser refresh the error is cannot access user card class comp before initialization so to fix this let's copy all of the this definition and paste it right here so we should access this user card class comp after the initialization of this class now go back to browser refresh it is working but we get the invalid prop score of type string the error is right here so to fix this score is equal to in curly braces any random number like this and back to browser refresh the error is gone so in the class component we can define these prop types inside the class also for example let's cut this from here and paste it right here like this and next we can say static 
default props similarly right here static prop types it will work exactly same so we'll go back to browser refresh and it is working fine this is how we can validate props in react if you like this video hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next lesson mm -hmm.